Hey guys and welcome to RoboCAD. In this HMI tutorial, I will explain you how to create the HMI tags and how to create this momentary button. When I press it, it will show 1 and when I release it, it will show 0. So let's begin. So as you can see in the devices and networks, I have PLC and HMI, right? So I will go into the HMI panel, which is my underscore panel and what i will do i will go into the um, hmi tags and then i will create a new hmi tag table so i will double click here add new tag table and a new tag table has been created i will rename it so i will type here new hmi tag table i will remove this click enter button and here we have the new HMI tag table right so here I will be creating some HMI tags so I'm typing here bit underscore one and I will change the data type so you when you click on this button you can change the data type so I will select boolean as the data type and you can change these connections as well so I will keep internal as well and let's make another tag so I'm making another tag as bit underscore 2 and all of the data type and connections stuff will remain same so that's how I can create tags in HMI right and now I will show you how I can use these tags so I will go into the HMI screens right and this is the HMI screen guys I need this toolbox so you can enable and disable it from here right and I would require a button here so I will drag a button and drop here and I will type here momentary so I will need a momentary button I will click here and type here momentary right let me zoom in and also if I want to drag this button or or you can say make it bigger like this you can do it and if you want to change the position you can click and drag and place it according to the position you want now I will go into the properties I will go into the press state and I will collapse this window and this window as well to make it bigger then I will click here you can drop down this option or you can manually search it from here and I'm gonna search it set set bit while key pressed right so I'm gonna select it and this state is going to assign to the momentary button as you can see this pink option will get up here so I will click this button and here you have to assign the tag that we have just created so I'm gonna assign this bit underscore one tag to this momentary button so that's how we can use the tag that we have created for the HMI, right? So bit underscore one is going to be the tag which is associated with the momentary button. And now I also require this IO as well. So this IO interface will be used for the zero or one state. So what I will do, I'm going to select this IO state. I will go into the general right and here I will do some settings so for tag I'm going to assign the same tag bit underscore one to this IO interface for the mode let's keep it input output both so input output both should be selected and for the format I'm gonna keep it binary because it's gonna change state between 0 and 1 which is binary and format also it is going to be 1 because it's gonna change only between 0 and 1 so I can keep it middle like this right and right so it's ready I'm gonna turn on the simulation from here so click on start simulation and let's see how it works so when I click on the momentary button it's gonna change the state to 1 right and when I, I'm gonna release the momentary one momentary button it's gonna change to zero so that's how it works guys so if you 
find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel